you are doing well. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in our Lofty Club. Today, I would like to share with you something that uh, I restart doing last week. And um, I think that can be beneficial for you as well, especially if you live uh, alone by yourself. After I got divorced from my first uh, husband in Brazil, I started doing talkings with myself using the third person on the bed, laying on the bed and uh, before going to uh, sleep. And I was asking questions for myself and answering. And the more I asked, the more answers I had and the more deeper uh, questions I was getting into. And that helped me a lot with many things, figuring out myself and my desires, my frustrations and everything else. So for you, I would like to recommend um, if you could just start talking, but talking in a very positive way. Remembering that uh, there is no restriction of any sort, no time restriction, no physical space restriction or financial restriction as well. And the question that I would like you to ask yourself is, what is your ideal day? What are you doing? After you open your eyes, waking up, what you are doing in your day? Are you meditating? Are you dressing up? A fabulous, fantastic closing. You open your window from your bedroom and what you see? Do you see a sea? Or do you see the mountains? Do you see a beautiful gardening? And after that, you probably will go to a breakfast. Why do you take your breakfast? You can take your breakfast in a yard surrounded by a beautiful garden the weather is great and it's sunny and uh, you can hear birds and uh, you can just enjoy whatever you like to have usually in your breakfast coffee or tea or juice, fruits, fresh juice and fresh fruits. The freshness of the day just starting for you. And after that, what would you do? Remember that you don't have any restriction or limitation of any kind. What you are going to do? Who are with you? Are you by yourself? Do you have someone with you? How are you going to spend your ideal day? And then, while you keep up with all these good images and feelings, you fell asleep. And the more you do that, at night, right before you go to sleep, the better the chance to solidify that in your subconscious and manifest that in your real life, in your physical life. The subconscious is something so powerful. They say that uh, if you imagine an iceberg where we see only one or two percent on the top above the waterline, that top is our conscious. 
when we are awakened. Everything else underneath the water is and represents our subconscious. So if you have that subconscious believing in whatever you have and give to them, that subconscious will work silently for you to make sure that that thing that they are seeing and feeling will be manifested in the physical world. That is pretty amazing. So, this is my sharing for you today. <laughs> With that said, I think we can start our love the session now, shall we? <laughs> club and in this laughter session today before ending this video I would like to apologize all of you that has been posting beautiful comments with so much love and kindness I am really sorry that I have not been able to answer properly all of your comments and I am afraid that I will not be able to do so from today on, neither. Unless I find six hours more in my 24 hours a day, then I could do that. But otherwise I don't see how I can do that because in my work, thank goodness we are having uh, a busy time, which is great. I'm very thankful for that because it is good for the business, for the local, for everything and for everyone. So I have been busy there and then afterwards I have a, a business meeting at night, uh, almost every night and um, so um, I don't see how I can get that going uh, as far for that commenting and answering so if I don't because I will put I put a time slot to answer comments everything that uh, I cannot do on that time frame it's not gonna be done I will put a I read because reading is uh, doesn't take that long time and every time I read I will put a heart shape and when I when you see that heart shape, please know that I really appreciate your comment and your love and your kindness that you're giving and bringing to my channel. I just uh, apologize again for not being able to answer that properly, returning your kindness and your love. But please do know that I love you all and I am sending you all lots of love and uh, a huge big hug to you and I do hope that today you have the best day of your life and I do hope that you can start manifesting beautiful things Manifest everything that you want and that you deserve 
in your physical world. It will happen. Just start doing that and you see miraculous results in your day. Thank you again and thank you for your understanding and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you! Bye now! <laughs>